Hail and greetings all, it's Ragnarok here, and it's time to get the tomatoes in the ground. Now you've seen videos before of how I like to plant my tomatoes, but today... The Jelly Sith Way. That's right. The little adaption. The addition, something different. We're going to see how it works. But the first thing we're going to do is get our tomato plants here, and you can see... They need prepared for planting. So, as you all know, I like to plant my tomatoes deep. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove any flowers that you find. You do not want flowers at this point in time. So that looks pretty good. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to remove all of these leaves. All these are going away and we're going to plant this into the ground now. But before we do that, we've changed up where we're planting our tomatoes this year as crop rotation is a real deal and they're going to join this eugle bed. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my hole nice and deep and you can hear the wood still in there. This bed is about ooh, four or five years old now and we still have all this lovely wood in here. So now that I have my hole nice and I'm going to put into the hole is an egg. No, I'm not going to crack the egg. I don't need to crack the egg. Nature will crack it for me. But then I'm going to add Jelly Sin Stew. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and put a healthy scoop of this jelly cyst stew in here. And then I'm going to add a scoop of this homegrown compost. Good stuff. Alright. Now, I'm going to put in my watering system right here. Check on the video on how we make those. And then I'm gonna take my plant, put it right there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and backfill around the plant and the water. And that tomato is off to a great start. Hey man, come over here, sit down, and we're going to pinch this so we don't hurt the roots of the tomato, and pull it out. Now what I want you to do is take these here, look, and you just squeeze it. Can you squeeze it? Like scissors, yeah. Go ahead and just squeeze it, squeeze it, because we don't need all these. We want to make roots, not leaves. There we go. Look at that. Now, do you see any flowers on there anywhere? Yeah, we don't want them on there either. We're going to go ahead and snip that off. There we go. All right. Now we need an egg. egg. Thank you. Okay, back up, honey. There you go. Here, man. Go ahead and put that in there. Good job. Now I want you to scoop some jellyfish stew in there. Go ahead, yeah, just take the stick and scoop some out. There we go. That looks good. All right, now we need to get some compost, Penny. Okay. Kneel down, buddy. Yeah, get on your knees. There you go. We're gonna go ahead and dump this in there. Gotta yeah, make sure, yep, make sure it falls in the hole. Get another scoop. Okay, 
Go ahead, man. Dump that in the hole. All right. Now I want you to take your plant. And we need our bottle. All right. Bottle. And we're going to put our bottle right here. And I want you to put the plant right next to it. Go ahead, set it right there. Yep. And then we're going to take our dirt and push it in. Go ahead, push the dirt in. All around it, yep. Don't worry about the wood, that wood can go in too. And here's our big pile of dirt here. Yeah. Go ahead and work that dirt in there. Get it all around the stem. Yep, we want to hide the bottle in the stem. That look good? Yes. Well, we need a drink though. So go ahead and pour this into the bottle. You got it? Yes. Go ahead, pour that in the bottle. Yeah, it's filled up. We can pour it all in. There we go. job and now you got a mater in the ground now we just wait for them to grow and this is something I want to point out you can see how dry this soil is we haven't had rain in over two weeks can you see it yeah okay. but this wood that we've dug out of the yugal culture is full of water so even though the ground it's like sand, <laughs> that wood is sucked up sponge, which is what these plants in this yugal culture are going to use to benefit and to adapt throughout drought and other growing difficulties. So here's our black creams, better boys, beef steaks, chocolate cherries, and red pears. Rise now, Ragnarok. Grow, you must.